Hello, everybody. Welcome to the XMG2. Oh, God. Okay, well, worst intro so far of the tournament. It was bound to happen. Let's just get this game on. Oh, Phantom Lancer. There's no way we get three in a row, so I'm not going to hold. And Broodmother. I'm just so happy it happened in a yeah, well, few games of the Yeah, we'll see if it's again. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. And Tinker have first pick, so it's possible they give it away. Yeah, there we go. This is what I was thinking in the previous series, that you might have wanted to do against Secret ban out the Omni Knight in game two based on game one performance. They didn't, and Omni played a huge role in the victory in the second game as well. Tinker aren't Earth having any of it, though. I didn't even notice our spirit just dangling there. Oh, yeah, you're right. We have three new. That's a really good sign. And this means why that if Secret Omni... don't ban one, one gets yeah, through. That's true. That's... Come on, Secret. Do it again for us. Do I it think for they'll the ban PL, though. They've done that pretty much consequently the whole tournament. Yeah. But how is Omni Knight yeah, available in the pool every single time? That's a good question. It's pretty yeah, incredible. Heck. I think what it's been available like the last five or six games. Not even exaggerating. Come on. Who do you want to see more? Brood or do you want to see Earth Spirit again? I guess we go for the new. Brood is kind of boring though. But it's, it's like, eh. which cancer do you want? <laughs> yes, yeah, spider cancer. I don't. I have a feeling Secret will not be giving Earth Spirit away this time, and it's because they don't have Omni. I think it was a crucial part of their strategy last time. Although mm. they can still get the Enigma that they picked last time, and there's Ogre, there's Jakiro. Maybe they get Enigma Jakiro, and then they settle for a full-on push strat with Pugna. Could see it again. Could it I, be Earth Spirit? Okay, I actually think they're going to give it. They're going to give it again, because they there's so many good pushing heroes, and that seemed to be their plan in game number one today. So why not hold on to Brood? I guess they could have first picked it for Team Tinker, but... It's one of those heroes that you just don't know how to deal with, I think, if you're a competitive team right now. You have no experience playing against it as a team. It's been changed a couple of times since just oh, really... There we go. Oh, boy. It's going to get picked. It has to. Oh, the Team Tinker goes for the Ogre. High value pick right there. Okay. Now, Secret, do they want to play it? Who's their Earth Spirit player? If this goes through the pool, I have no idea. Okay. Nope. There okay. it is. Whoop. There it is. LC to follow. The newly... Well, I guess it's not that new of a CM here. Oh, boy. I, I oh, can't... Oh, boy. It's, like, unbelievable. We haven't had a single non-CM hero picked in the entire tournament until today, and now we've had three games in a row with one. All of them. 100% non-CM hero I, ratio. Today. I don't know. Like, how did this suddenly happen? Because Team Secret's got balls, man. Yeah, I guess. They're they willing don't have, to... Well, they're so... They're, I mean, they're top of the standings right now, and all matters is top four for now. I guess you're right. They're in a position now where... If they keep up... like they Maybe they value the experience of playing with and against these heroes more than winning every single game now. Because even if they lose a game or two, they could very well still end in first place because they've been dominating so much. They're currently 9-1. and one. And the only I match they've, that they've lost was to EG. They lost on one game US to East. EG in that series on East, and I still think that was their hardest opponent. So they don't even have their hardest opponent remaining with 9-1. and one. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty incredible for Secret. I love seeing them trying to let the heroes through and see what it's like. We'll see how they use Earth Spirit. I think Na'Vi didn't use it too well. Uh, and it's it's hard to say how easy it is to, to do it. I mean, one thing is you need to have a player who's individually skilled on it. It's a very difficult hero to play on a high level, which is why the hero itself doesn't have one of... It has, like, one of the worst win rates in Dota, I think, because it's one of those where if you don't play it very well, you're likely to just be a liability. And Whoa. if you play it extremely well, you're falling out of control. Like, it's it's kind of an all-or-nothing hero, in, in a way in category with Meepo, where if you're not good, you're kind of meh. But if you Go are good, PA, you can please, take over please get PA, please, please, please. Um, I want to see so, it. So, gonna be interesting. I guess it's gonna be No Tail maybe playing it for Secret. Although they grabbed Lone Druid, which I know he loves to play. He's playing this so much in solo matchmaking. Uh, gonna get Quop for Tinker. I thought they would get a right clicker. Beastmaster, for the Lone troll. Druid, Earth Spirit, Legion. It seems like a little bit of everything. Do you think they? I'm imagining they could last pick a hero that's good at pushing. I wouldn't even oh. say the Chen of Puppy is out of the question. Good AOE heal. No, I think you go burst. for a fifth melee. Come on. When Lone Druid hits six, it's going to be five melee. Get Pudge, get Undying, PA, anything Ter that's not Terrorblade? intelligence, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's an awful Terrorblade game, though. It's okay. They can, they can, they can 20 seconds. Off. Well, they have... Who's going to be their mid? I want to see Earth Spirit mid. That's what I want to see. 
versus Quop. I guess it could be Troll mid as well. I don't know. Haven't seen Troll in a very long time. Don't see the synergy with his ult yet, though. They're going to go for the Enigma. So, Jungle Enigma. This is a very greedy lineup. Every single one of these characters, heroes, needs levels. And since No Tail's playing the Lone Druid, it seems like Earth Spirit might be left as a 5 support. Yeah, I think it's fine, honestly. It's also what uh, Na'Vi did in their game. Or was he 4? I think he was 5 in that game as well. And the hero, for me, can be Whoa. extremely effective with no farm. Like, are very remaking? minimal farm. Okay. Did they three remake? people with packet loss. Okay. Is that the server or them? I don't know. So apparently the server is completely screwed. Complete okay. garbage server. So we're going to remake with... And hopefully it's going to work better this time. And the teams will be picking an all-pick. Same yeah, heroes. Okay. So this, of course, means that the draft will unfortunately... That will unfortunately not be available in Dota TV if you're watching the replay. But, I mean, if you're very interested in the draft, you can go check out the VODs for that. So, Yeah, girl. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, if the server is awful for three players, you know, can't really do much about it. What's, we're using Stockholm. Did you have it on Lux before? Oh wait, they can't Stockholm because they have a Murica player. Hmm. Well, I guess this might be. Yeah, this might have problems, but we'll see. So we're gonna try Luxembourg one more time. Yeah. And if there's problems, we're just gonna be forced to use. Uh, Stockholm, I guess, which Tinker will not be happy with. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a discussion in the chat saying that the uh, the Luxembourg server is incredibly unstable. It started giving massive packet loss, and it doesn't necessarily, even if it starts out well, they can still get problems during the game. So Secret really want a different server. Uh, the big problem about this is we switched to Stockholm for the Navi match, which was fine, but... Team Tinker have an American player, so going to Stockholm for him is really not good. I so wonder what gonna... the admins are going to rule. So, I'm going to suggest Austria as a solution. Okay, they tried that too. That also has packet loss, so... Volvo okay. fix server! Okay, what alternatives do we have? Chili. <laughs> this is both US East. They have one one person with good ping in that matchup. Alright, we're gonna have a little bit of a discussion here to figure out what we're gonna do. So of course from Tinker's perspective it makes a lot of sense not to just flat out take the Stockholm server because it gives them a worse worse conditions for one of their players. Uh, but if one of the servers is just this if the standard server is garbage and gives a lot of packet loss then that's even worse. So I, it, right now it's between Luxembourg, Stockholm, Austria. Luxembourg and St Austria are apparently really bad. Stockholm is working fine, but bad for Tinker. Well, it's just one player. He can sacrifice it for the team. All right, I'm trying and to actually, ping is like super, super duper duper important when you're playing Earth Spirit as well. So that's probably why Seeker's being so adamant about this, despite having, you know, first place in the tournament right now. So two so it's not like a the server is bad for everybody. That's what I was figuring it was. No, but some of the routing like these players in the past have had no issue whatsoever playing on Luxembourg and now it's messing up for three of them. Poppy is getting packet loss, S4 is getting a bit of packet loss, and Fly is completely screwed on the server. So it's Pretty much unplayable conditions. Stockholm doesn't have issues, but isn't bad, isn't good for Bulba. Well, we, the only thing I can think of is we do a one and one, kind of like with EG. Yeah, Stockholm I was one, thinking US about East that too. But it's I mean, still it's, it's Tinker, a little bit of a different situation. So I think it should be up to Tinker on this. It's either both Stockholm or one Stockholm, one US East. That's what I would do.
but if you're going to US East for one player, I don't know. No, we can't. That's worth going it. East is even worse. Oh, well, it's a suggestion. I mean, they might not ping well to US East, but they won't be getting packet loss, right? So that's more important. It doesn't seem like anybody wants to go east. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Bulba likes east. Well, unfortunately, there's no situation that's really going to make everybody happy, so... Alright, looks like Stockholm it is. Bulba, what is Bulba playing? Better not be somebody that relies on not reaction sure. time. Not well, sure. This is a shitty situation, but this is like the best we can do, honestly. There is no better solution, unfortunately. So, okay, let's go. Alright, and we're back into the loading screen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I have to redo that intro that I screwed up. Wait, was this the one I screwed up? I can't remember. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the XMG Captain Jeff 2.0. My name is Sunspan. Join my Cinder in. Game one between Secret and Team Tinker. This is all pick now. The tournament has actually changed. It's the XMG AP tournament. And <laughs> oh we get disconnected God. right off the bat. Excellent. Okay, we're trying again. Good start. Trying again. It was an observer. Yeah. One of the spectators didn't load in, though. So we should be good. At least the Which players should, should be loaded. I don't understand why that like disconnects everybody, but that's another story. Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome again. Third intro for the XMG AP 2.0. Oh, we, had we to did remake. load. I thought we actually didn't make it, but this time it went through. Yeah, we had to remake because of issues on Luxembourg server, so now we're playing on Stockholm, which Bulba will not be pinging well to, so Team Tinker has sufficed that to basically being 4v5. So we'll see but if goes. you if you are watching this in the Dota TV replay, and you're wondering how the draft went, you can go and check out the VOD because we do have a VOD with the draft. I do believe, right, Sunsen? Oh we're still yeah. We're gonna have that. We're gonna have this full VOD. Good. So you can check out the VOD on slash vods for this one. It's gonna be uploaded not too long after the game is over. So if you're curious about that, check it out. Um, but yeah, but we had to remake AP. We had awful uh, server. In the original CD game, we had so awful server. We have awful server, so we remade AP, and that's why you guys cannot see the drafting process. But I can tell you this much: the teams are picking the same heroes, so that's good. That's no, good. one more no melee to go. Cheating. There we go. This is exactly what we picked. So, okay, Team Tinker will be playing on the Dire. We have Secret on the Radiant. Secret, uh, a little bit of a quick recap, I guess, on how the drafting went, at least the most important thing. Uh, Earth Spirit was available to Team Tinker's first pick. They chose Ogre over it. And then Secret went with Earth Spirit plus the Legion Commander. They then continued into Beastmaster Lone Druid and finished off with Enigma. Tinker went Ogre into Sanking Jakiro. And then Troll Quap last. I do believe that was the exact I one. trust your judgment. Can you explain to me, and Excellent. this could be a dumb question, why is there a TP scroll on No-Tail? Is this if he if if he goes against a tri lane he just rotates right away? What's the purpose of this? Um, Before we even introduce the team, hmm. I have no clue. It's a good question. It might just be for a fast rotation, like you said, in case he gets aggressive laned against. Uh, if you look at Tinker's heroes, I don't think if he if he starts getting stun chained, he won't get out. Like they have multiple stuns, so it's not like he's against let's say a Veno lane with Quap, and then he can just right. TP out because of the poison and no lockdown. So. Not quite sure. Probably, like you said, just a way of, of resetting in case they need to rotate things. Team, I have TP from beginning. I swear <laughs> I help. Okay, so let's go over the teams. We have, uh, for Team Tinker, Bulba playing the Ogre Magi. Thank God it's a single target hero. He doesn't need to rely on reactions whatsoever. EGM playing the Jakiro Sing Sing on Sand King. Very interesting. Pycat middle lane as Troll Warlord. And Koifka, Queen of Pain, safe lane top. Secret will be running an offlane Earth Spirit on Simba together. No, never mind, not together with anyone. It's going to be completely alone. S4 will be playing as. Never mind, they will actually go together. <laughs> so Beastmaster, I thought he was going mid. S4 almost, almost, almost always. There we go. Plays mid, but 
They'll be playing a dual lane. As I mentioned in the previous game when we had Earth Spirit, he can kind of dual lane with anyone offlane because you can always just save the guy with Geomagnetic Grip. That will put Kuroki mid with Legion Commander against Troll Warlord. Uh, Puppy in the jungle with Enigma. And finally, Lone Druid safe lane by No Tail. Well, oh my god, Koifei doesn't have Blink. He's dead. First Blood again going to Earth Spirit. That's two games in a row that Earth Spirit's been picked that he's gotten First Blood. Coincidence? Broken. Well, maybe not. <laughs> That's, Rolling boulder, yeah. insanely I mean, it is, broken. Yeah. You cannot do anything. If you have blink, you cannot even escape. <laughs> exactly. Oh. He definitely wasn't expecting this duel lane. The whole way they did the rotation from secret was very hard to to call, and gives them a nice beginning. So secret will be claiming first blood. S4 is now gonna just annoy Sing Sing on this pull, disallow him. Not completely disallow the pull, but steal some of it. Of course, get some experience too. He might even be getting more out of it than Sing. Looks like that's the case. I just saw a stone get kicked. Watching a stone remnant on the minimap is hilarious, by the way. Because it actually does show up. Just watch for that in the future. Let's talk a little bit about the other lanes. Troll mid against melee is generally a win for troll. I think Legion Commander has better odds than many other heroes do because of press the attack, being able to remove the blind. Kuro doesn't have that skill yet, though. He's maxing overwhelming odds, as you should in mid lane in most cases. Good way of pushing the lane to secure runes. Good way of harassing your opponent. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining he'll still press the attack on level 4. Oh, Sing. Oh, he's just gonna run away. Nothing gonna come out of that rotation this time around. Right? And Koro does have bottle, so he's he's also not getting the bot rune, which was already taken, but he can bottle Crow. Oh, that's going top. He's gonna need a while in this mid lane. Has to play a bit passively. And then the bot lane, this lone droid should be run over by this dual lane. Ogre, Jakiro. He can get some farm, but he needs to be pretty cautious not to get caught out. Usually, Lone Druid is a very boring hero to watch, but I'm excited to see No Tail play it. Love that guy. And like you said, he's been playing it quite a bit. Uh, top lane. Oh, we have a Stone Remnant. Double. Oh my god, how, much, how many spells does this freaking hero have? Blink out by Koifka. They won't get the kill. He has but there is a health three spell. spells and an ultimate. It's the same as most other heroes in Dota 2. Well, oh, actually, he does a stone, stone Remnant is a spell. Yeah. Okay. Technically speaking, okay. a no mana spell at that. But Sand King still hasn't leveled anything, looking to perhaps start stacking so he can get some Sandstorm action going. But uh, if an opportunity arises that he needs Burrow Strike, he's going to level that, of course. Simba, going to find Sand King. He's just going to completely cancel this pull. Very nicely played. He's going to force the, the push, perhaps, for Secret at this top lane. But Koifka almost level 4 actually. Oh, middle lane, Kuroki getting chased. Pycat's gonna tank the tower though. Oh man, oh, if he gets. Die. Oh, he's dead. He's done though. Kuroki. Went all in on that play. Couldn't get Beautifully it. Beautifully done. Just beautiful play from Legion Commander, if I do say so. Sing Sing, he's gonna get some much needed experience mid now. As far as it going for farm, Tinker is still doing okay in their lanes. They're not falling that far behind with this 2 kill deficit, including the first blood, because Jakira's top farmer. We still have Troll farming more than the Legion Commander mid and Quap, although Dying Top is still doing fine. So, not too shabby for for the Dire. Unfortunately, they don't get the top rune this time around, which I think they would have really liked to prevent Secret from refilling the bottle of Earth Spirit. Uh, but they do get the bottom one. It's an Invis. Looks like they want to give it to Sing. Ooh, Invis the Yeah. He can try to set something up. Obviously, Burrow Strike level up. 1 is Interesting. Just... Well, yeah, this is a very no dead no-tail if secret, they get in. So. No tail is. Oh, never mind. They're going jungle hunting. It's gonna be for puppy. Puppy's gonna see this coming though. Oh, that just and messed gonna up the game. Well, Kuroki, he knows this is happening. Obviously, Sing Sing's still invisible. That was a weird though. rotation. They have a Sand King with an Invis rune, and they run in with the smoked ogre first. They might just dive it. I think they're just gonna dive it. Yep. We have ignite. We have. They still got away with it. That was close. They're gonna get it. Oh, Sing Sing taking a lot him. of damage, and solo experience goes the way of puppy. He'll take that. Obviously, you don't want to trade Kuroki's life for it, but some sort of a response coming from. From Team Secret, he's just gonna mana mana pot up. S4, that was getting not experience worth it. Now. And I don't know if that was miscommunication by Tinker or if that was just. I feel like that's weird strategizing. You always let the Invis hero go first when you have a smoke, so that you get to see the scene first, and then you can decide based on that. I sent in the ogre and broke the smoke and gave Secret time to think about what was going on. So maybe that counter kill wouldn't have happened. And that kind of stuff is expensive. There might be a dive bottom. Yep. 
Bulba. Very tanky for an intelligence here. Might have some ganks mid as well. No tail's almost six um, though. Then they can't kill him anymore. Pie cat. Well, they were thinking about it. Simba, considering his options at the moment. S4 continuing to get free experience top. Quap was forced out and actually kind of semi jungled for a Oh there. boy. Oh, he's going to miss the roll entirely. Cat. Might not matter though. Kuroki gets a duel. This is going to be a really. If he's actually. Oh, blind is on him or something? Yeah, blind. So it completely takes away all the damage. Earth Spirit gets killed. So nice rotation from Sing Sing. Kuroki on the run. He's bottling up. Burrow Strike only level one. Is it even in range? Okay, barely. Get enough time to get away, I feel. Without using that spell, but chose to use it regardless. S4 coming to help. And wow. Rune available. Kuroki with the haste. Is he actually going to go in? Oh boy. Sing Sing? I don't know. Well, he could disrupt oh, uh, if he sees farm, that, he could take a big part of that stack. He could take almost all of it with a run. He's going to go on Bulba though. Doesn't have any mana, but can't really tower dive that. Still, so that, that was a gank that would have easily worked out if Simba hit, but it's difficult to hit with Earth Spirit when you're initiating from like 1600 range on a... I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's kind of ridiculous. Just saying that number is kind of sick. Initiating from 1600. It's a little difficult initiating from 1600 range with a level 4 hero, but it's still possible. Uh, it's like him and Marana who can do that pretty much, but... Uh... Yeah, he missed that. He hit the geomagnetic grip, but missed the kick, and that one was more attributed to nice movement from PyCat, just dodging that one. And, well, when the duel came out, like you said, Koro was blinded, so couldn't finish off the kill, and Tinker got a much-needed return on that mid lane. Indeed. PyCat level 7, has his bottle. Completely empty, however. Kuroki really wanted that first duel. That would have been a very early one at that, but uh, we've seen him... It was him that played the Legion Commander earlier. Not today, though. Where he completely snowballed out of control, or is that somebody else? Everybody meshes together. Somebody destroyed with Legion Commander in our tournament. It was, it was Kuroki yesterday. Okay. And I believe he went like Mjolnir and Blade Mail and all these good stuff. Yeah. Of course, Blink Dagger's gonna be the first thing on his agenda in all likelihood. He has a. Oh, sorry, I was clicking on somebody else. We have a rotation top by Simba. He's the one that smoked. And. Looking for a potential kill on Koifka. This is going to be pretty difficult. It's a very Bottom nice lane, lane ward. Ignite along with Ice Path. Big Daddy no tail. He's just going to TP out. And he's barely going to get out in time. There's that so TP. Heads up play. <laughs> yeah, that's true. When he started <laughs> He with. knew it was coming. <laughs> Eight minutes in. Finally, oh, they going to roll. Yeah. Nice dodge from Koifka. He knows this is happening because he S4 was standing here and the ward here saw him for a long time. When S4 stands there waiting for like 20 seconds and then suddenly starts moving up, it means there's yeah. a gank coming. So perfect timing on putting down that ward by, I believe it was, was it Sing Sing? I think, I guess it must have been because Bubble was bottom. So nicely done. Well, mid lane. Oh, Korkva might still taking. die though, he will. Oh, oh maybe not. He blinks to safety. How the he hell gets out he again get out with that? less than 50 HP. The first time he got out with like 10 HP. Wow, I was Very sure fortunate. they had the burst. Just he didn't get bursted. That. He didn't get the memo. Nope. Smoke. Okay, well, Sing Sing is rotating. He's level 5 out of nowhere, by the way. He was just level 2 just a second ago. So, the jungling. He's almost Working six. out to his favor for sure. Yeah. One more creep or two. Oh, this is... He'll get to 6. Dangerous oh, stuff. Yeah, but S4. S4. There's the Burrow Strike. Should be a kill. Whoa, okay. And a Sonic Wave even used. Okay. Well, Koifu is going back to base. Maybe not the hugest waste. I don't know. EGM? It's still a two and a half minute cooldown on what was definitely a guaranteed kill. So, they so I think they saw the Earth Spirit roll away. I guess they just want to burst him in case there's a geomagnetic grip. So maybe that was the reasoning. Well, he's trying to teach Secret how to burst. Because he yep. didn't get bursted twice now. Got away. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it. Koifu is a good guy. Mid lane. Ogre Magi is now level 4. And of course, with those somewhat recent buffs to his multicast, level 6 is actually so much more important to get now. I know people before would actually choose between that or just maxing out Fire Blast and Ignite over getting multicast, but or now blood pretty much no question. Sometimes too. Yeah, even a couple of the Bloodlust. Tower. Oh, den never mind. Puppy denies the Dia Tower with the Radiant <laughs> Enigma. I don't know why no I thought played. I saw an exclamation point mid lane. By mid lane, I mean bottom rune. <laughs> Oh, I don't what? know what's going on. Koifka, this would be a really good opportunity for the Sonic Wave, but like you said, he used it. And Simba and both C and S4 are going to get out like just fine, Bulba. Hold on, panic mode from Simba. They roar Quap, and then he kicks her away. <laughs> I don't know, that was really weird. 
not sure. He might not feel gonna too get comfortable on this hero over that. I don't know. Well, who is comfortable on this hero other than Jerax for competitive There's play at least? Quite a couple of. Yeah, I don't, know out of, I, I don't know out of the <laughs> top. Uh, <laughs> okay, good point. Um, out of the out of the top players and the competitive teams, I don't know so much. But there's a lot of there's a lot of competent high MMR solo players who play the Earth Spirit. But I don't know about the pros so much. That's a good point. Oh, Simba might be lagging. Who knows? He's the one that paused. Oh, it's S4. So no. Well, if S4 is lagging on Stockholm, then it's his ISP. Yeah. This should probably be like the best server of all for a Swedish player. For show. Luckily, it's a Beastmaster with, well, I guess Wild Axe is kind of important for lag, but not nearly his most important spell. Pycat with Phase Boots at the moment. Let's actually just do some item progressions here. Puppy has the Headress, so going mech first as he always has, as he always does on his Enigma. I want to see what No Tails Farm is right now. 700 gold, so not a whole lot. Ten and a half minutes in. But now that the first tower is dead, maybe that gives him a little bit more room to... I don't know, maybe he's the one that goes... I need to cough. Take over. <coughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Cough for you, so they didn't miss that. Legion Commander has an invis room, so... I think Kuroki's going to want to set this up for his first duel. Successful duel, that is. But the question is, what targets are really good? Like, Troll, if he can get off his Wild Axes beforehand? Or his Whirling Axes? Not a good choice, obviously. Ogre Magi is super tanky, even with nothing in his inventory. I think he needs somebody to help him. There's no way he can solo anybody at this point, that's for sure. Hmm, yeah. I mean... As far as this game has developed so far, uh, the Radiant side are about 2,000 gold ahead. Not a big surprise when they're running Enigma, although there's a Sand King on the other side. They've also taken a tower, which is a big part of that gold influx. What do you think about the, like, the... In mid-late game, we're looking at a Team Tinker team that has... Troll as their main carry. He's being played mid, and then they have a safe yeah. lane quad. I think there's more pressure on them to perform in the next 15 minutes, and I think their lineup has less ease of execution, perhaps, than the lineup of Secret. So they... I feel like this is... <laughs> this is the point when you start looking for ganks, again. Uh, pull out a smoke or two. Do they have any remaining? They have one in stock, and that's actually it. So only one smoke to play around with. And they need a collateral, so they need to gank a lane close to the tower and start, if not take it down the tower, then at least get some damage and get some control. No Tail is probably the best kill right now. Delaying Lone Druid is always important. Uh, and if he doesn't play permanently in true form, which is the case right now, he's actually quite Why fragile. Why is that, to by guess. the way? Um, so right now it's a trade-off between health and easier, or sorry, uh, speed and easier last hitting, or health. And he currently has 456 move speed with level 2 Rabbit on. So he's not that easy to catch off guard unless they have a Blink Dagger or come out of smoke. So that in mind, I think this is okay. Uh, but if he gets caught, he won't have time to transform. So that's kind of the, the worrying thing. It's, it's a little bit of a gamble, I guess you could say, but probably alright in this situation. What it, Interesting to see a skill build, by the way. Most players on Lone Druid will max... Summon Spirit Bear and Synergy first to get a strong bear. Uh, you see, you often see three zero four one builds so that because the fourth point in the bear gives it a little bit of health, a little bit of region, a little bit of better attack time, and one armor, but it doesn't give it a better entangle. It gives it the what's I call demolish ability against buildings, right. which isn't that important in the lane until you start pushing towers. Uh, but he's going for rabid. Great move speed for himself, but still weird. What is he doing with this bear? He's Where's running, he's pulling the wave. He's just being annoying. <laughs> Getting uh, the wave back. He's it's gonna more of try a red to... panda, by the way. Just, you know. It's not really a bear. <laughs> okay, this is very weird to do 11 minutes in. I was oh, gonna he's pull disrupting mid lane, maybe they want to push? Oh wait, yeah, that was from bottom, actually. Yeah, the, the creeps are gonna go back line. where they came from. What this does is it pushes EGM, and then he's hoping it pushes back, I guess. So that he can get back and farm safely. But if EGM does this right, he might just be able to hold... No, nah, never mind. That's a double wave. He can't do anything about this. He won't be pushing it back. So, cool idea. Out of no-tail. 
Well, that's kind of when you take out a tower here, you're kind of. Well, actually, if you're if you want a safe farm, you almost maybe you don't want your tier one tower to go down, but it kind of gives you a little bit extra room at the same time as long as you have vision. But dependent on where uh, the wave is, right? I mean, yeah. the the that the, the, the tower falls doesn't really benefit you at all unless if you do get the wave back. And yeah. some players are really good at controlling it and making sure that doesn't happen. Ooh, I want to point out the radiant. Oh yeah, the radiant Kuroki did get a tower Doki. top though. Looking for a kill here. We have initiation. He's gonna get it. I don't think he wants to use a duel here because they're in a lot of trouble. Okay, he's gonna use on Sing Sing. Is this enough to actually get it? S4 trying to help out. He's not gonna do so though. In fact, that S4 blind dies. Is ruining him. Yeah, absolutely. Pie Every cat. single time we've seen it. Those whirling axes are really annoying for Kuro. And also, really good response time from Tinker. Is Sing Sing very quick burrow strike? If the Beastmaster gets the roar off as the opener, that's a free kill. Uh, but they force Kuro to use over, uh, press the attack on his ally, so he doesn't have it for himself to remove the blind. Very nice by Tinker. No, he'll do it again with that with that red panda of his. We have TP support from Sing Sing. The top lane. You don't really even. You, they do have a good pushing team just because of Chikira, but you can't sleep also on have the troll. fact that Troll ult is so good. Even yeah. if you don't have any right clickers, really, they all turn into right clickers in some way because of that. And even his, if I'm not mistaken, his fervor works on towers as well, so it just adds yep. even more pressure to the towers from, from PyCat. What is he... I haven't really seen Troll too much. He goes BKB first or something like that. I mean, against an Earth Spirit, mm. it's not good against Duel, obviously, but... There's a couple of had choices. No problem against Duel. I would like to see a Blink, but I'm not oh. sure that's the plan. Uh, oh. Mech was the old build, but I don't think you have mana for that right now, unless you get an item to make up for it. Off all but gets the multi! Double multicast ignite to follow, and the slow from PyCat. Simba is donezo as well, so... Well, EGM bottom lane. It's gonna end up being a trade. Support for support, not, not too bad, I guess, at the end of the day. And... Puppy has a full mech. Blink dagger. Actually, all things considered, that, that's kind of a late blink dagger by Sing Sing. I thought he was going to get that way earlier. Must have been disrupted. In he went arcanes first, bit. so it's still pretty Did good. He? Oh, okay. Nice. So his farm is pretty good. Uh, now, Pykit gets Vlad's, which is really good on troll when you're mainly playing melee form, obviously. Because you get the lifesteal, and then even when you're in range, it's still a good item. The rest of his team doesn't benefit that much from neither the lifesteal nor the damage, but the armor is definitely really good when you're playing against Legion Commander, when you're playing against Lone Druid. And even against the Eidolons, it's also nice to have, so... I don't mind that choice. I still think when he goes for Blads, they might want to use it to push. And that's still the challenge, because Seeker are really the ones top. putting pressure. Simba... Macropires, you know, Simba is actually used to roll to get away. That was almost a terrible situation for him. Sing Sing, another couple seconds would have been able to get an easy blink They're just strike on. running back and forth between mid and bottom. Now they might get cut off. Well, they're smoked up, so they actually they want to go back in. Bulba's going to find them. Gets the double multicast on No-Tail, but of course he's the tankiest target you can choose. He gets entangled, in fact, trying to get off anything, but gets perma-stunned and destroyed by the Earth Spirit. Pycat and company want to defend this tower, but I don't know if you're going to do so against this entirety of secret with this cute little red panda made by TV Dotto. Shout out to him. Yeah, this tower is definitely gone. They will glyph it. Of course, this is a tier 1, so they get a free glyph for their tier 2. But I'm wondering if Tinker could just, at this point, try to not take these fights and just try to split push with the Troll, with the Jakiro, or just go with five on another lane. Instead of taking the defensive approach where they try to hold, then they could be the aggressors. They still haven't claimed a tower 16 minutes in with a Jakiro Troll lineup. Which, I mean, it's not a disaster, but it's also... When you're playing a core Jakiro with 50 CS at this point, you generally want to have taken the tower. He has a Yules, but... The towers on Secret are actually all looking fairly healthy. None of them even below half yet. Did so. Universe just start this trend Yules on like every hero? Well, most notably the Jakiro. On Jikiro, every Jakiro, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're seeing Yules on like tons of heroes now. And the only change I can think of, maybe there's something else, was the 50 damage added to when you drop so you can't blink out of it. Uh, was there that's... anything added on top of that? Uh, Obviously that's significant, but... I think that was the last change, change Yules got. I could be wrong. Maybe it got a little bit move speed buff as well from like 35 to 40. But as with many things in this game, some items just need multiple buffs before teams start realizing how good they are, or maybe they're not good enough until then. And then suddenly it crosses like a threshold where it starts becoming so good that you want to pick it up on multiple heroes, whereas before you want to pick it up on none. Oh, nice. Yule into the ice path. Puppy 
He has mech, but can he get it off? No, he gets oh, nice. bursted down to the Sonic Wave. Simba, in the meantime, gets off a beautiful ultimate on four heroes, I think. EGM and company are in a lot of trouble. Boba looks to be dead at some point. He gets the multicast off. No, he's going to live. In fact, EGM will live as well. Here comes the Burrow Strike initiation from Sing Sing. Three are dead for Secret, and Team Tinker are rolling this fight, but they are extremely low in the meantime. A team wipe, all they lose is Jakiro. That was beautifully played by them. The opening they found on Puppy was the most important thing. They have no mech available. Then the Lone Druid tries to go in and kill Pycat on Roche, but Whirling Axes. <laughs> he stays alive for so damn long because this blind owns Legion Commander and Lone Druid. And now they're going to secure the Roche. They'll give the Aegis over to Koiko, who has 3,000 gold. Huge teamfight for Tinker. Really well executed. And that Yules and Jakiro immediately paying off. Absolutely. And... Despite that, I thought that Secret did a really good job of regrouping, and the ultimate from Earth Spirit was unfreaking believable. But I, I think it was only one stack. That was the issue, yeah. right? Maybe two. I don't two think at the he most. he got to drop another remnant, or maybe he got one off, but not after the entire duration. So, I think one more true. stone remnant on top of that would have been a triple kill. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Both. Right. But the Sonic Wave from Koikva was also really good. The isolated puppy. Oh, bottom lane. I think he's gonna be fine and he's really fast. They're trying to catch up, not happen. Yeah, even with but, Ignite, he's still decently fast. So they had they had Puppy here, and the Sonic Wave came from the right and burst him, and it hit two targets over here, which has a huge impact on the fight when the mech is not available to be used, because he cut one third of the health off, I think, Beastmaster and might have been Legion, or else it was Earth Spirit. And I think if that Sonic Wave doesn't hit three targets, they probably lose the fight on marginals instead of winning it in the end. Oh, Blink nice Dagger now on Kuroki, and this is when he needs to really get some Pycat, going. gonna get Mal Dive bottom lane. Oh, multi-cast. That'll ensure the death of No-Tail. Macropire just there for insurance. This is gonna turn into a tier 1 tower in favor of Team Tinker. Pycat forcing everybody out of the jungle, including Puppy, who's been living here for the past 18 and a half minutes. Blink Dagger now on Beastmaster. So, initiation possibilities are there for Secret. They just have to get themselves in in good position to execute to the highest of their ability because they are definitely behind right now. Quick with a DD rune and the Aegis just takes the stone remnant and sits there. I think he's going Hex first. I love that he's doing that. Oh, that's nice. It's... It could technically be a Lincoln's. For the oh Lincoln's boy, S4. S4. Oh. Or a reverse four staff, beautifully done. That basically avoids the ice path. And major team fight coming about, but S4, oh. Good god, the burst damage is way too much to speak of. Kuroki blinks out, we'll be fine for now. Puppy doesn't have any blink dagger or anything like that, but has the tankiness. If he can oh, get it off the burst or sonic wave, burst damage out of control, Simba dead, everybody's dying. The only survivor is Kuroki. Of course, the Magnetize did hit several heroes, but it doesn't stack again. And despite the really good counter initiation again, or actually the save from Earth Spirit. Just still turns into four deaths. Team Tinker they rolling right totally now. Totally crushed in that fight. I think Puppy might have had an opportunity for a black hole, but he hesitated a little bit. I'm not sure if there was someone available to cancel it. And then Tinker just immediately realized, okay, we're ahead in this fight. They're clustering up uphill. Very <laughs> easy kill. Four okay, kills in a tier two. Look at that graph. Wow. Look it's at been these a items. long time <laughs> since I've seen someone do this oh to Tinker. God. Uh to Secret, I mean. Yeah, so 10k. And Tinker hasn't been looking that good hard. lately, and suddenly they go up against well, well easily the, the best team in this tournament so far, and also one of the best teams in the world at the moment. And they're running them over. Yeah, for sure. So Blink Dagger now on Jakiro to go along with that Yule Scepter. Troll picked up a, I guess it was the Maelstrom he picked up, and Sing Sing has now a four step, so ultra mobility for him. And this is, we're talking about 20 minutes in the game. This is like insane farm to have. So this is when Secret is going to start grouping up probably and try to use these Blink Daggers to full effectiveness. I mean, they want to get, I, I do agree that late game they still have the advantage, but they have to get there first. Maelstrom is the only pickup other than the phase boots on the bear, aka Red Panda. Um, and he only has 700 gold on top of that, unless there's something flying to him right now. And then we're Poker thinking Club, about EGM, but puppy. he figures it out, gets out. Nothing is going Secret's way right now. I guess what they want to do now is just try to slow the game down, farm, and hope for Tinker to over, to just overextend this. It's going to be a 
combination of things that needs to happen for Secret to come back. So Tinker needs to overextend. I guess it's fair to say they need to not get the next Roche as well. Then I think Secret either need a good black hole or a really good combination from Simba. And Kuro needs to duel without being blinded. <laughs> and that seems to happen it seems every, like single, every time. single time. Yeah, it's been it's been rough for him. And that's not really something you think about because especially with the blink dagger now, he shouldn't be able to get off whirling axes in time. But he hasn't really used his blink dagger to initiate. Here we point. go. I think it's point this two. might be it. He's gonna try for the duel in all likelihood. Along with the magnetize. Look how much it takes, and they might not even get the kill. They finally do. Groki's the winner. A double puppy ultimate with that black hole, but yeah. Team Tinker, their farm advantage is showing. Puppy goes down. Koifka barely Koifka lives. lives. That is the third time he's lived with sub 50 HP. And that first item, Lincoln's, like you said, I thought he was getting the hex. It's something we've seen a lot in the past that when Queen of Pain's. Uh, uh, Queens of Pain <laughs> suddenly get an, a massive burst of gold, they start building for the hex or a fast orchid. Uh, but he went for the Lincolns. I guess it's mainly Whoa. against the duel. It's been really nice. EGM uh, finds Simba. Done. And Sing Sing's here to help out, but Roar. S4 has counter initiation with the roar, like you talked about. Sing Sing. He looks to be dead. So great job from S4 coming out of nowhere. That's one thing these two heroes don't have combined when their ultimates are down. Sand King and Jakiro, they need a long time to make the kill happen. I thought they were going to get him, but S4 was in the neighborhood. Easy roar kill. And they get a turnaround. So a little bit of a comeback for Secret. Still steep, steep mountain to climb. But they might get there. Easy now, roars. I, I love the build from No-Tail. This is something I predicted could happen once the Lone Druid Bear got mana. It's going oh! Mask of Madness. Nice Yules. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. And I that second out. has come now. Yeah. So he's getting Mask of Madness on the Bear. Since now it has a mana pool, it can use this item. It costs 25 to trigger. And the thing about the Bear is... It's so tanky already, and the, the Dire team at this point will not want to focus the bear unless if there's no one else to focus. They can't really afford to deal 2,000 damage to the bear while there's a duel happening and an Earth Spirit on top of them. So he gets a lot of attack speed very cheap. Oh, he, they're gonna stop his TP! Oh boy, Trolls he might coming be in. trouble. Kuroki's here to help. Let's see if he puts a buff on the... Oh man, he gets stuck by the... He gets caught by the Ice Path again. Easy kill coming the way of Team Tinker, and... Well, at least... He spent most of his gold before that, right? That's and he got he got that teleportation at the last second too. Actually, bought a TP scroll. He bought. That's always nice. Three or four of them. Did he? Okay. <laughs> right. Boy, he is in love with TP scrolls. Guys, I'm dying. <laughs> well, come Tier one. Eventually, of course. Going the way of Tinker. And that is their third tower. So all the tier ones down. Oh wow, this courier's got some crazy effects on it. Ionic vapor. Plushy Shag. I don't know what that is. Anywho, smoke now on Puppy. So without a Blink Dagger, they're going to have to focus on the Blink Daggers for Kuroki and S4 for initiation. And it's going to be tough to get a good Black Hole, but opportunities are still there. Sing Sing, of course. Oh, he's going for Veil. I love this. Instead of an Ags. I prefer that way more than Ags, I think. You when you do the math for Sanking himself, the Veil gives more damage than the Ags does. The Ags increases the number of pulses, so it makes the ultimate a little bit longer. So there's more slowing duration. But in terms of raw damage potential, Veil is the better choice. Now, it gives less health, uh, for example, than the Scepter, of course. But it's also it's a way little bit easier to build up, yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing about Veil is his team benefits from it a lot. Queen of Pain, Ogre, Ogre. Oh, oh here we go. Puppy, Puppy might get caught out. Great Ice Path is zoning him out completely. They can't take advantage of it, though. Boba getting completely permastunned, takes a magnetize. Sing Sing with the epicenter catches two in the burrow strike. Kuroki and No Tail very low to begin with. Kuroki gets off his ultimate, though. Sing Sing will fall. That's damage going the way of Kuroki. That is the second duel one, if I'm not mistaken. And this fight will break up, it seems. Is that the second one? So that's level two. Yeah. He's really only nice. Got two, two duels. Really nicely executed team fight from Tinker. So they initiate from the left with Puppy, getting into Malphis over here. At the same time, they get flanked by the Beastmaster. Sanke gets a decent Epi uh, Burrow Strike off, but there's no follow up available because S4 had zoned out the enemy team on the right hand side. So they basically get a freebie out of that, and they force the Epi. So very important. That's a little bit of time purchased for them because I don't think Tinker want to go with with Epicenter down, maybe for a little bit of a skirmish. Looks like this is not happening, though. Pycat has a Sange at the moment. Is this going to be an SNY or a Halberd? 
So Halberd That's is amazing against thinking. the bear, so I would probably lean towards that, and obviously evasion. It's also really good against pretty nice. Yeah. So I, I would definitely say that. But we've been seeing so much S and Y lately, they just never yeah. know anymore. I he guess. bought the Yasha, he sent the courier back, now he wow. sends it out again. That's surprising. I don't know if What's I like that. What's that airship courier? I don't know if I've seen this before. That's the Kunkka courier. Kunkka. It's really nice. Cool. I don't... Is that new? No. Not at all? Maybe I've wow. seen it. Just didn't notice what it actually Probably was. Probably came out but... maybe four months ago. So I don't know if that's new okay. for you. I don't know if you're living under a rock. Oh, in the life like... of Dota 2, that's new. <laughs> sure. Maybe it's just oh, rare. Maybe not. Oh, Link, Yules, oh. Ice Path, Burrow Strike, Macro Fire. Oh! Reverse four staff that counters everything though. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good ability here <laughs> from Simba. It's gonna save Puppy from everything. That that range? Holy crap, that is sick. That is disgusting. I don't even know what to say anymore. That hero. Of course he is zero and one in competitive play. And if this continues zero and two. What I want to say for both games so far, as far as Earth Spirit's impact has been, I think in the Navi game, Vanscore, it's not one of his best heroes. Uh, I think there was a lot of potential in that game that he didn't really take advantage of for the Earth Spirit. And I feel the same way for Simba this game. But the early game just didn't really work out. And as far as mid-game goes, he's still amazing. And does have a Blink Dagger, so definitely set up for some potential plays, but... I'm kind of expecting, because I know how, like, I've, I've seen so many games with excellent Earth Spirit players. Of course, that's not in a competitive environment. It's been in pub games, but when you see what this hero can do, and you see that some of the openings have existed in both Navi's game and this game, uh, with Secret playing it, it still makes you wish for a little bit more out of it. It's, I kind of want this hero to be showcased, because now I feel like I'm talking it into being way more than it is. But, yeah. honestly... There is potential here that hasn't really been used so much. Looks Roche? to be an uncontested Roche. Now that Pycat actually has a damage, a couple damage items, this is uh, pretty much short work. In fact, it's actually the level 4 Fervor more than anything. Uh, now that that's maxed out. Give again. And this okay, one is probably a Hex. Now I he's going to get a Scotty Lincoln's just to actually. spite me. Yeah, or Scotty. Manta. Double Lincoln's so good, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, also, Jakiro has an ultimate orb, so that could be another Lincoln's. Just to try to avoid any, any duel... Snowball potential coming from Kuroki. It is actually a really good game to get Lincoln's in. The only things that break Lincoln's are Duel, Roar, and Malefice. There's nothing else on the Radiant team, which is very rare. So I like that a little, unless they get items that can like break it, but You'll at like the moment I don't lot. think they have any four staffs. Or, uh, no. Well, there is a four staff though on the other team, Bulba. Yeah. Picking one up very uh, recently. And Mask of Madness activated. This Look at this bear. Tower. Mask of Madness and the Legion Commander. It's a beast. Press the attack. Macro Fire used to clear out the waves, and they're just going to trade towers. So Fortification is popped, but it's only going to delay what is coming. And that is a dead tier too. So, No Tails Bear. Let's take a gander at him again. I guess we don't know if it's a him for sure. Could be a she. We don't. I don't think the bear has a voice, so there's no way to know. Blade mail picked up. Interesting. Very interesting. You're, you're talking about how they they don't want to focus it per se, yep. depending on the situation. But he picks up a blade mail. Yeah. This is his his build that I, I've seen a couple of times on his streams when he plays Lone Druid. This is the build he pretty much goes Are for like every single. Are you like stalking game. him? You seem to know everything about him. Well, I watch a couple of pro player streams sometimes, and the reason this is one of the things you remember is it's a hero he doesn't usually play, and then when he pulls it out, he goes for this build, which is unusual. So it's very memorable. Uh, the only okay. person I truly stalk is you. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so creepy. creepy. I just picture at the same time. So, By okay. the way, we were very close to implementing an emote for Cinderin's <laughs> face with a colon creepy colon, and it's just his face. I have this really <laughs> creepy photo where I'm... <laughs> Creeping up behind you is pretty good. So anyway, the reason this item build makes a lot of sense is, like we talked about, you use the Mask of Madness, you attack incredibly fast, and then come mid-late game, the enemy team wants to start focusing the Baron, but then you have the Blade Mail. So if they focus it because of Mask of Madness, it's going to take a lot of damage, and you're going to take a lot in return with the Blade Mail. So Plus there's a lot of AoE. Damn it well. if you do, damn it if you don't kind of thing with the Baron. Right. 
And that's an interesting perspective, which Lone Druid players generally haven't had in the past. They've always, it's always been, damn it if you don't go on the bear. Mm -hmm. But now... Uh, even Troll is going for Lincolns, it seems. So that is definitely the item of choice for Team Tinker. And I can't say I disagree with that whatsoever, as we talked about. I would um, love to see him disassemble his Sanjin Yasha <laughs> into Manta Halberd. I think might, that would kick it. I don't know if Manta is particularly good on Troll, but it's I guess decent. you can... He you can, can break out of Entangle. Yeah. Well, sure. But I was going to say, you can make it range, and then once you use it, go back into melee. That's another yeah. interesting perspective. It's not <laughs> terrific, but it's something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, Lincoln's is going to be his choice. This is really smart, though. I like it a lot. Yeah, they're and all just going now on Koifka. So, Secret are going to need to buy four staffs. They need a way of breaking these Lincoln's, I think. Else they can't duel reliably. They can't roar. And that means even if they get a good black hole off, I don't even know if they can kill the dire team during it. So, really nice analysis from Tinker to pick up all these Lincolns, and yep, you're right. Jakiro is getting it, and Troll, both of them. Grabbing that as their next items. Wow, actually, EGM is almost done with this, too. Just needs yeah. the, the Void yeah, 100 Stone, gold. about 100 away. Wow, they're farming really well. So Perseverance and Ultimate Orbs are just the recipe missing for PyCat, unless it's already on the Courier. Nope, not, not the case. So, Secret relying on oh, no tail roar. quite a bit. Yeah, we have a roar onto PyCat, but a a Cyclone onto S4 very shortly after. Magnetize on a bunch of heroes. EGM does get a really nice Ice Path, but he looks to be dead. And actually, that, that was, was a, a, a really duel. short duel. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I didn't even notice it until the end. He got it off but right I guess the damage. The what's, what's your... I guess in this situation, it's obviously good, but... A lot of times you see Legion Commanders go for that duel just to get the damage, as opposed to uh, using it as more of a lockdown mechanism. Mm-hmm. So it's a really it's a risk reward situation in a lot of ways, and obviously Kuroki's a very smart player and used it correctly there. Since it does have a very low cooldown overall. You should always take free damage with this. It's such a always? short cooldown all, on all levels. It's 50 second cooldown. If you well, can I'm get just saying, free damage, if you're doing a team fight and the sure, lockdown is more important. That's a than different damage. perspective. That's a different perspective. What I mean is, when it's a freebie like that, it's not like right. black hole where you're like, I might want to save it for later. Just for this, you just use it, but. In teamfight, you're right. Sometimes players save it too long and just secure a kill instead of getting a five second, essentially like a five second doom. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Doom. There's sometimes it, but it's it's just so tempting, right? It's like a personal, it's, it's a it's a mental thing. You want to <laughs> yeah, win the is. duels because it looks good, it sounds good, and you get plus damage. There's there's so much reward packed into using this ability. Oh, Link Korka. sheep on a Kuroki, but here comes the red sing juicy sing. panda bear sing sing. Epicenter with the Veil of Discord. Sonic Wave even popped. Big Daddy No Tail drops to the deck, and with that, Secret will teleport out to safety. Triple All of TV. them getting out. Kuro will be grabbing some farm bottom. Apart from that duel we just saw, I haven't seen much from him in the last 10 or 15 minutes, and they're just farming, which, honestly, they're doing a really good job at. If you look at the Golden Experience graph, Tinker were getting a really big lead, and they still have a big lead, but Secret is slowly crawling back, and that's after being 10k down. They're finding more farm, they arguably have better late game like we talked about, depending on the timing of Queen of Pain, as well as uh, how good of an epicenter comes out. And with all these Lincolns being built up by Tinker, I don't know if they can end the game, because they're not that good for sieging the base as such. Oh my god. This press the attack is seriously ridiculous. Oh, and if they go in now, you can get pulled in by Earth. is going to get a Spirit. roar. No! Puppy oh, looking yeah. to perhaps cast his black hole, but Sing Sing gets initiated on by Kuroki. Doesn't look like anybody's going to win this duel! Oh my god, it's actually Sing Sing. He's going to love that extra damage on Sand King. Puppy destroyed on top of this. So three dead just like that. Team Tinker looking real good. And they chose and that Puppy themselves. Had black hole the whole time. Secret chose that. I think they had the opportunity to get out. They got a good kickoff. Oh, they're actually going again. Yeah, we have a buyback by Legion Commander. I'm sure the ult will be back very shortly. Boba does get entangled. So they're going to catch one person. Koifka has the blink. Should be okay. Lincoln's on top of that, of course. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. They open, So they open on Beastmaster. He... Yeah. Um... What did they do? So they first they press the attack him, and he manages to run a little bit left. Then he gets caught again. Then he got pulled out by the Earth Spirit. And maybe they could have just got away. But instead, they choose to initiate four on five with 
like five second respawn timer in the lone tree. Perhaps they expected they could draw it out long enough for no tail to come in. But essentially that was very expensive. They ended up losing two heroes. They lost Kuro and Puppy. Kuro bought back. And the only kill they got for it was a position five ogre. Awful trade for secret. And you're just seeing it on the graphs. That's like a 4k gold plummet. They worked so hard to get this gold back the last 15 minutes. Now they lost it again. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get wrecked in a team fight. But unfortunately, Puppy just hasn't been able to find a good black hole recently. Um, the threat is still there, but they just take him out before he can even use anything. So, despite having the mechanism and BKB, just getting shredded in these team fights. At least he's so gonna far. have blink for the next fight, though, and that's, that's huge. Yeah, they that's have no thing. counter to the BKB puppy. They can't stop this black hole. Oh, well, they can well, do this though. Here. Ice path, macro pyre, right clicks from troll. Puppy's just gonna sacrifice himself. Doesn't want to use BKB or anything like that. A wise At the same choice. Time, this opens so. up for a bit of split push. Bulba it's gonna still force a 10 stun. BKB. Jeez. Oh, bottom lane, Burrow Strike, S4. Veil of Discord applied to him. He's gonna get a roar off. Here comes Kuroki. He's gonna try to get his ultimate. It's gonna be on Bulba. Does he have enough damage to take him out? It's gonna be close. Epicenter's here. Nope, nobody wins the duel, but Ogre does fall along with Kuroki. And the Burrow Strike is actually gonna end up killing for Sing Sing. Pycat trying to take out the bear. He will. No tail. He has two TPs. Remember, he bought like a million. Of a long time ago, can he use them? No, ice bath. And he just resummoned his bear and it died again. Oh, are that's you serious? Oh, two boy. minute bear cooldown. Ultra oh, kill rough. for Pycat. There's two. Th something needs to happen for Secret. They need either an MKB or a BKB on that bear, and they need to focus the guy Kuro duels really hard. And I, I think they tried it, but again, whirling axes. I don't think I've ever seen a game they've been as useful as in this game. Pycat is doing so incredibly much work for Tinker. Just the perfect Whirling Axe usage every fight. He finds the bear, he finds Kuro. This time Kuro was in BKB, so he did do some damage, but... I mean, you look at Kuro, what's his item build? Blink BKB, 40 minutes. Yeah, he hits for 180 with bad attack speed. He's not gonna win the duel like that. He needs the bear to hit, and that one is blinded, so... And unfortunately, he did buy back in the... Not the last fight, but the one previous when they were in the base here. And didn't get anything out of it, so... All his gold was basically spent for that. And his item regression, as he's talked about, is just put completely on hold. I mean, even if he gets a blade mail, that's still not nearly enough. You need and it's also an not good top of that. even anymore. I think. Eh, I think it's too late. I think it's fine. I mean, I think just he for needs the to AOE hit harder himself because he needs to force that when he goes in. Oh well, sure. Yeah. He gets a kill. There needs to be a damage item coming out for him now. Do you think MKB is the best choice for that? Uh, I think the bear needs it. Kuro still has an eight-second BKB, so. He can avoid the blinding or the whirling axes with that and get something else. I think Akiras is great for their team. They have a lone druid and him that benefit from it. They also can do a lot of physical damage, to be honest, with the other heroes combined if they get a black hole, which hasn't really happened yet. Um, and then well, the bear. Now they're going to have to deal with Aegis. Demon Edge on no tail. He's had enough. He's working on he's it now. He's had enough or his bear has had enough? <laughs> well, Where's that freaking bear? Kind of the same story. Oh wait, it's still not up, that's right. That's a resummon. And there it is! That's a good boy. How far off is he? 2,000 gold. Well, yeah. question is well, if they get time to get it. Is this a double lead? Lincolns? Or is that just my eyes deceiving me? It's, it's Lincolns Pycat, and Mjolnir. But... Okay, this Lincolns and Mjolnir. Almost looks like a double spear on top. It was a double spear! It was! Because really? one just dissipated. Yeah, they put two on him. Pycat, <laughs> half HP. Blade now popped by the bear. It's gonna get stunned. Do they know this is the last summon? For quite a while. I'm not sure if they do. They should know. They really should know. Pycat, of course, has Aegis. But they don't want to waste the Aegis completely, of course. He'll just He's use gonna... the cheese, in fact. Wow, that's really surprising. They're just going to go back in. I wonder why they did That's interesting. I'm not sure if that's all about, but Either way, Ice Path and other amalgamation of spells used to clear out this wave. And here comes Pycat with his ultimate cycle on the bear, which has Blade Mill already activated. So some of the duration is already wasted. Puppy yeah, should buy a blink and send it out to himself right now, but he's not doing it. Yeah, I'm not sure. He's oh, he might right even click, die! He's gonna die to the right clicks from Pycat in range Whoa. mode. Unreal. Doesn't yeah, there is a buyback available for Puppy if he chooses to use it. He's gonna do so. Watch for him to come in right now. Kuroki wins the duel. And actually killed two, along with the Aegis. Pycat trying to run away. Is he gonna get entangled? Proc, procity, procity, proc, proc, proc. Simba's here to help out. But Pycat is so fast with his bloodlust. Gets stunned. Oh, a double stun from Simba. Very nice turnaround for 
Team Secret, Pycat still on the run. Is there ever going to be an entangle? <laughs> Unbelievable. He might not, Damn. Might it, not I even think... catch up. Oh, oh, here comes another man. So Earth Spirit. Yeah, and Shiva's on top of that. Oh, Pycat forced to just right click. He destroys oh Earth Spirit. God, he Absolutely just... no problem. He's like, you know, 1v1 me. Get fucked, son. What a Boy, baller. Gonna blink out. Turns around, kills off the Earth Spirit like nothing happened, just runs away. Koif could just use his ult here, I think. I just heard that. Yeah, I think Weird. he... I'm not sure what he used it on. Oh boy, there's a big pickup. This could change the game. This is the most important item Secret have got overall. I'd say the next most important they should be getting is the blink on Puppy, like I pointed out. But he died and bought back. Because he can't find an initiation angle. And if he has BKB and blink, it's a free black hole. It's like, there's no one going to be able to kill him. Troll probably can't get in and do the damage. They have oh, no boy, uh, Oh, that's an interesting oh, initiation. Boy. He uses everything. Kuroki has duel. No, actually, he already used it. Apparently. Here's the black hole, finally. Puppy catches Pycat. They're going to get two right off the bat. There is a buyback available for Troll, but not for Koifka on the Queen of Pain. Oh, well, this tier 2 tower at the very throw least this away. They're really far ahead, but that was a huge mistake. Bear's going to get it. Has the MKB, as you talked about. He's starting to hit ridiculously hard. Four staff now. That's <laughs> it's almost like having a double four staff of sorts on Simba. A reverse one and a normal, regular old four staff. That's a good way to break the Lincolns, as you talked about. So we'll see if that comes to effect or not. And they're just gonna go top. So they're gonna try to force the buybacks. Expect Troll to do so very shortly. Blade mail, multicast. Bulba's gonna hurt himself quite a bit. Here comes the burrow strike. Can they take out the bear? Roar, huge roar from across the map, basically on Sing Sing, but no follow up whatsoever. Bear is resummoned. If they can get this second bear, that'll be pretty big. But the entangle on EGM is not gonna. Well, they pop the, the Lincolns. More fire blast. These things are off cooldown constantly. It's ridiculous. Still no buybacks from Team Ticker. There's the initiation. EGM Kuroki dueling him. Is he gonna get it? It looks as if it's barely gonna. No! The Yules at the last second wasn't gonna get the kill for the duel either way. And they're gonna apply pressure to the racks. Buyback on Jakiro. Why hasn't Troll bought back into this game yet? They're gonna lose melee racks. He has buyback, I don't understand. The bear? That if they was kill this bear, it'd be pretty big. Pretty, but... I, I get where he's oh. coming from because he doesn't want to waste it, but that was very expensive now. Bulba. This is oh equivalent boy, this to killing the bear if they're able to get the actual lone druid Bulba. Not going to go down, at least not yet to the bear either way, though. Oh, kill both. Be the bear death. first, then hero. Very nice. Yeah, there we go. That cost them a Rex, though. Sure, well, they saved the buyback on Troll, and I guess at this point a melee Rex isn't the end of the world, but... I would still have said, the moment Sand King got the Blink Burrow Strike off, that's when Troll should have bought back right before and TP'd in, perhaps. But, well, now they save it, so he has it next time, which could turn out to be a really big deal. Damn. Oh, this is getting really exciting now. Look at the graphs! He has a satanic, I think. Wow! <laughs> Hold on. Hold oh on. Oh my god. There we go. XP. Gold. Quite a turnaround, for sure. 10,000 gold in XP in three minutes. I mean, if... All right, might lose Rex the though. No, nope, they're gonna get the oh. range. Yeah, they're getting. This is against falling. backdoor protection. Fortifies almost up to. That's the unfortunate thing for Secret. And looks to be a freebie. Eventually, there we go. So it's a one for one, I guess. Buyback still available on Troll, who now has a say. Well, I thought he finished the say thing. I guess it's just the humble and dominant now. But eventually, we'll uh oh, be that. well, Secret's gonna have to do something. Well, even if Lone Druid comes back, he has no bear. So what can they do without that yeah, damage? They, they have to give two lanes, basically. They can't do anything. The bear is up now. They're gonna sacrifice it's two It's still lanes. not game over though. It's not gonna be mega creeps or anything like that. A couple lanes of racks is obviously crippling, but it's not the final blow for sure. Shiva's now on Queen of Pain. And another ultimate orb. So this has to be Scotty. <laughs> I mean, how many ultimate orbs does she have, basically? She has three, technically yeah. speaking. And it's gonna have four overall soon. I really like that pickup though. Scotty's gonna be big. I think he's getting it against the bear, but I would say if they want to counter out the bear, Halberd time is Yeah, Halberd now. would have been way better, absolutely. It would really, but it doesn't have to be him doing it. Once again, Pycat can still disassemble, but then, well, what do you sell at this point? He's pretty much fully stacked. He could sell I feel the like blast. like the Yasha is not important at all on him, honestly. No. Well, true. Well, still, the 10% movement speed is really damn good. But he's already relatively fast in melee form, and... And Bloodlust and Phase Boots. I feel like having a Halberd is just so much more important. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I still don't feel like it should be him buying it. That's the thing. He should be doing the damage. So get it on EGM's Jakiro or... Even Koifka can get it, honestly. I'd be fine with that as well. I guess, what's he getting the Scotty for? Of course the tank ability, but generally... 
he will have the slow against the bear. I don't think it's enough. I think the bear will still move incredibly fast with Mask of Madness on and phase. And Every rapid. A little bit helps. Though. I don't know. But there's, there's no one else you really want to Scotty slow, right? Kuro is going to blink duel, then it doesn't matter. Oh, attack speed slow. Basher. Kuro is indeed going to go for the AC we talked about, unless that's a Mjolnir with a Hyperstone first, which I doubt. Yeah, so I, be I'm nice. still just waiting for Puppy to get a black hole. And he refuses to get blink. I'm, I'm not sure what the thought process is here. I just feel like it's very... Am I missing something here? Or wouldn't that just be the obvious choice that sets up a black hole? Well, especially in this stage of the game when having it as a surprise could just make it game over. They could win a team fight 4 or 5 nil off of him not showing a blink. Now he has a refresher. That doesn't really make a difference if you don't get the first black hole off. I am... I'm not following. There really is no... There is no uh, BKB piercing ability on the Dire. They don't even... They can bash with Troll. <laughs> If, he if he's in not in the black hole, him. if he's behind him and bashes him in the back, <laughs> well, that's it. I I really wonder what the idea is. Well, he's about to. F I'm guessing he's about to say for great. Buyback, Don't now. get me wrong, it's amazing, but it's kind of now he has a long BKB. He will have 17 seconds of BKB with this refresher completed, so he can just walk in and try to black hole. And maybe he will just use BKB extremely early, go for it that way. Yeah, that's a that's a possibility. That's true. That's... And. If he doesn't get BKB blinked next, right I don't know what he does. Like, oh, it's even a 9 second just... BKB, so not even needed, honestly, the double BKB, necessarily. I mean, that's 14 seconds, oh, not 14, what's, whatever 9 plus, plus 8 is, 17 seconds of BKB, so... Pretty dirty. Jakiro has... This is like ultimate or party for Team Tinker. What is he going for? Another Hex? So double Hex, triple Lincolns. One Scotty. Oh, Tinker gonna get this. Secret? No, yeah, it's happening, but it's too late. Aegis to Quap, and EGM picks up the cheese. This is the gave fourth Roche Alex kill time. in a 49 minute game. Pretty good. It's pretty juicy. They're trying so, to find. Pretty short respawn Kuroki. times and very effective control by Tinker. Oh, Kuro. oh they're gonna see him! Hexed. And the sheep, Kuroki, you are done, man. Great 80 seconds on the sideline. He does have buyback. Last time it was completely wasted though, so I think... I don't know. It's tough to say. If they end up pushing, obviously they need to, but... He does have 70 seconds to work with. We haven't really talked much about S4 picking up the Aghanim Scepter. I know he's had that for a while, but... Uh, for those that don't know, the major thing that you get out of this is ridiculous range. So he has a Blink Dagger on top of this and a Force Staff. He can roar literally anybody as long as there's no Lincolns, but that's the major obstacle now, right? Oh. Well, he asked the Force Staff to get rid of it. So that was the choice I was asking for, for Secret, was to get that. Yeah, Kuro has to buy back. This is the last lane. And now Tinker can just retreat. And I think Kuro actually does have to buy back before the team gets the fight gets initiated, because the moment it does, the tower's almost gone. Look at Tro- oh my god, his attack speed! That when Yasha he, really helping when out. When he pops Battle Trance, I think he's almost <laughs> next. Oh, here we go with Mjolnir, Puppy. Gets rid of the Lincolns. Is there gonna be initiation? S4 looking for, he's gonna go for Pycat, who does not have the Aegis, he has nothing! He gets decimated! He has the buyback, but he's gonna have a long way to run. Meanwhile, Kuroki gets a nice duel, getting the kill. S4 doesn't quite go down, he's gonna bottle up through that Shadow Strike. Koifka. On the run, sheeping the bear. I believe this is still the first one, so he's yep. gonna have a second bear to work with, but no tail better be kind of careful here. He's got a lot of people around him. Boba, fire blast on the puppy. Oh, trying for it. Yeah, if he Kulkra's gets that bear. Trying. They oh, need to get that bear out. out of there. Puppy in the meantime, he has a black hole to work with. He's gonna use it on two. There's a cyclone. Boba looking for the fire blast. Double. No, there's three people in the black hole. There's no damage to follow though. Here comes the bear finally. They're gonna rip through Team Tinker. They got one what kill has been with a double black hole? That's unbelievable. I don't know how. EGM on the run. Koifka's going to kill Kuro okay. before his Koifka Aegis gets used. Lincolns is off cooldown. They do get the Aegis at the very least. Jakiro, I think, had to have popped cheese because that was almost a triple kill in the in the black yeah. hole. And that's the reason that there wasn't like you were talking about. No Lincoln. buyback from Kuro. This is four on four. Dyer are missing Ogre. There's no black hole. There's no... Oh, Magnetize is almost up. And the bear is still alive. It's the biggest deal. No black hole whatsoever. Roar is available. 
Ice path on a couple. Here comes the burrow strike. Does he even need to go for puppy? He has really nothing to work with. He gets go for sheep, the troll. Shiva's everything. He's dead. Here comes Pycat. Gets more staffed in. Still has oh, Lincoln. If off? he goes down, this is going to be a dieback. This is a pretty big kill, but no tail gets burrow strike from Sing Sing along with the epicenter. No, actually, that's up in five seconds. Forget that. But this looks to be GG. Really well played game. That was exciting. Earth Spirit 0 very, and 2 in competitive nice play, game. ladies and gentlemen. Not OP at all. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like the teams are just trying to prove that it's not that good. We yeah. want this hero so much in captain's mode, I struck <laughs> Look, it's not that good. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Wow. I still... There was a couple of really cool things in this game. I think Troll played... This is perhaps the best performance I've seen from Troll that I can remember. Uh, the entirety of Tinker really surprised me. They played a very nice game. They haven't been looking too good lately, but this was very nicely done. Secret, on the other hand, slightly disappointing. I guess the Earth Spirit performance didn't. We didn't really get to see Earth Spirit shine once again. I'm still waiting for that to happen. Um, and it's more effective again, than the first game, though. That's for sure. That's true. But still, I don't. I feel like a very uncharacteristic thing for Secret. It looked like they didn't really get to involve Puppy's Enigma much. He had great farm. He chose not to get the blink. He only gets. I, I think in the last 30 minutes, he got two black holes off. That was the one before Refresher and the one after Refresher in the same fight. And they got one kill with that. I am still wondering how this game could have gone for them if he bought the blink and what the thought process was, because I think the options would have definitely been there. But regardless, that doesn't take anything away from Tinker, who really put up a great performance. And this is one of the most important wins they can get, because if they can beat a secret and get some momentum going, they have a great shot at playoffs. Absolutely. And with that... We will take a short break, and we'll be back with the last game of the day, Secret versus Team Ticker Game 2, right after this, friends.